Hey everybody, welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. I'm John, and we're going to go see Steve, who's going to tell us about an incredible movie. Oh, Johnny, long time no see. Where you been? Come on. Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Johnny, one of the movies that we've never done is one of my favorite looks at old Hollywood. Billy Wilder's classic Sunset Boulevard from 1950. Now, Billy Wilder was one of the great versatile directors. He came over from Germany in the 1930s to escape the Nazis. His family later died from the, as a result of the Nazis. He always had sort of a dark sense of humor. He teamed up with a guy named Charles Brackett and they wrote a whole series of movies. That were, they wrote the classic film noir, Double Indemnity, and he wrote Billy Wilder then wrote uh, Lost Weekend. He wanted to do something that was a little bit dark about Hollywood and funny at the same time. It was all very queer, but queer things were yet to come. So they came up with this idea for Sunset Boulevard. Basically the story is this. It's told in flashback by a guy who is a Hollywood writer who's on the land. And he's played by William Holden. They're about to repossess his car and he's running from these guys and he gets a flat tire. He pulls into this Hollywood mansion that seems to be deserted, but it's not. Inside is one of the legendary stars of films, Norma Desmond. Great, great star of silent films, played by Gloria Swanson. You're Norma Desmond. Used to be in silent pictures, used to be big. I am big. It's the pictures that got small. When William Holden shows up, she thinks he's the undertaker who's come to bury her pet chimpanzee. I want the coffin to be white, and I want it specially lined with satin. <laughs> in reality, he takes a look and sees that this woman has been living in the past, but he also sees a meal ticket, because she, she says, you're all right, aren't you? This is to be a very important picture. I've written it myself, took me years. Looks like enough for six important pictures. It's a story of Salome. I think I'll have DeMille direct it. And he looks at it and he thinks, she's got money, I can get a job. I wouldn't worry about money. I'll make it worth your while. Basically what this story is about is a kept man, which was really kind of dark for the 1950s. There's a room over the garage. Max will take you there. Max? And Holden looked amazing in this. It's also film noir, and it's also one of the most telling stories about show business in general and how we shoot and throw away our icons after we're done with them. Mr. DeMille is shooting. You got an appointment? No appointment necessary. I'm bringing Norma Desmond. Norma who? Norma Desmond. Max, her chauffeur, turns out that he was her director in silent films and gave up his career because he was her first husband and loved her so much he became her butler. And he has sent her handwritten fan letters every single day so she thinks she's still wanted by the public. We shut off the gas in Madame's bedroom. Why, her career? She got enough out of it. She's not forgotten. She still gets those fan letters. I wouldn't look too closely at the postmarks. He also has sent a script, this copy of Salome, to DeMille. Well, DeMille's people, Cecil B. DeMille on Paramount, they have called Norma Desmond because they see her driving around the Hollywood Hills in this old car from the 20s and they need it for a movie. Well, she thinks they're making a play for her screenplay. She loads William Holden into the car and they go to Paramount Studios. Billy Wilder got Cecil B. DeMille to stop shooting on Samson and Delilah and do this scene with Gloria Swanson, who, in fact, he had made into a star in the 20s. Norma Desmond is coming in to see you, Mr. DeMille. Norma Desmond? So they do this scene, and it's one of the most haunting and sad scenes you'll ever see because you know, talking movies have put her out of business, and she sits there, and all of a sudden, this guy way up in the, in the thing says, Miss, Miss Desmond, Miss Desmond, look up, it's me, Hawkeye. Hello, Hawkeye. They shine a light down on her, and out of the blue, this microphone comes over on a dolly and she looks up at it and she pushes it away. And you see, oh dear, dear, dear. And, he, and DeMille comes and talks to her and sort of, you know, he says to his assistant, what's this all about? And they go, oh, wait, I just found out we want to use her car. And he goes, you want to use her car? Norma, she goes, hello, chief. I'm so glad you called me back again. You don't know what it means to know that you want me. Nothing would please me more, Norma. You've read the script, haven't you? We're going to make many movies, many, many movies. And remember, darling, I don't work before 10 in the morning and never after 4.30 in the afternoon. And he just says, uh-huh, uh-huh, and he kind of whisks her out, and he says to his assistant, get any car that we can get. Just don't ever call her again. 
Everybody threw her away. You didn't know what she was like. You don't know. And it takes on this sort of sadness. And then she begins to realize that William Holden has somebody else and he's not in love with her. And this drives her right over the brink. And that leads to the climax. I need you as I've never needed you before. Look at me. Look at my hands. Look at my face. Look under my eyes. Gloria Swenson was nothing like Norma Desmond in real life. She was very much a person of her time. She kept changing with things, and, and she was a very vibrant person, but she did this so well. It, it was the greatest comeback in the history of movies. I hate that word. It's a return. And at the same time, it stopped her career because everybody thought she was Norma Desmond. It was that real. A return to the millions of people who've never forgiven me for deserting the screen. It's a risky, risky performance, and it's so brave. There's a very famous story about this, that the opening of this performance, Hollywood had never shown anything so ugly about itself before. Never. And Barbara Stanwyck walked up to Gloria Swanson when she walked up the aisle at the end and got on her knees and kissed the hem of her gown. And Billy Wilder got up from his seat and walked out, and L.B. Mayers caught him in the lobby and said, you ought to be run out of town on a rail. And Billy Wilder said, fuck off, L.B. And as they walked out of the theater, he turned to his assistant and he said, this is probably the most famous thing I'll ever be famous for. Not, not in my movies, but that I told L.B. Mayer to fuck off. <laughs> and Sunset Boulevard, umpteen Academy Award nominations, and it lost him to All About Eve. It was Eve's year. But boy, there are few movies that have ever been made about Hollywood that told it like it is. Billy Wilder's classic, Sunset Boulevard. She goes, I've got oil wells in Bakersfield pumping, pumping, it doesn't matter. And I was, and she looks and she goes, what right do I have? Do you want me to tell you? And right away you go, whoa, she knows everything.